The magic star and the sneezing sprite. Off you go and bring me some cherries from the fruity forest, said Majesty to Magic Star and Baby Lucky. We are lucky to live near the fruity forest. Fruit grows there all the year round. Just look at those lovely peaches and pears, said Baby Lucky. Here come Jack Horner and Tommy Tucker, added Magic Star. Jack's heading straight for the plum tree. Don't you ever get tired of plum pies? asked Baby Lucky. I get tired of soup sometimes, retorted Jack. And at the moment it's so salty, added Tommy. Dame Goody's lost her pepper pot and uses lots of salt instead. Perhaps she's found it now, said Magic Star. Look in the shimmering pool to see. Wouldn't it be lucky if she has? asked Baby Lucky. Happy Hooves, look, it's magic. We can see Dame Goody's shoe house in the pool. But she still looks cross. I can hear Dame Goody coming this way. And here's Junket with Baby Applejack in the stroller, cried Magic Star. I've got all your utensils here, Dame Goody, said Junket. I saw Goblin Grok poking about, so I collected them. I still can't find my pepper pot, sighed Dame Goody. And good soup needs lots of pepper. Where is it? I didn't see a pepper pot, said Junket, scratching his head. Ladles, pans, pots, dishes, but no pepper pot. Suddenly Sweet Cherry, one of the fruit sprites, came along the clearing. A tissue, she sneezed. Oh dear, a tissue. Have you got a cold? asked Baby Lucky. Cotton Candy has some cough sweets. I'll get you some if you like. It's a very strange cold, said the little fruit sprite. I didn't get it until I moved into my new house over there. Whoever lived there before kept it so dusty that it makes me sneeze. I suppose that's why Goblin Grot moved out and let me have it. So that's what happened, laughed Magic Star. Goblin Grok stole the pepper pot and told you it was a house. I feel so silly living in a pepper pot, sighed Sweet Cherry. But it was such a lovely little house. Magic Star smiled. Now you can live happily in your pepper pot house, said Magic Star. Oh, thank you, replied the fruit sprite. But I still haven't got a pepper pot, sighed Dame Goody. Wouldn't it be lucky if we could help, cried Baby Lucky. Perhaps we can said Magic Star. Catch the silver pear pepper pot, Jack. Jack held out his hands. I've never owned a silver pepper pot before, said Dame Goody. Now I can teach Grok a lesson, said the ponies. Later, lovely hot soup. I'll take it home, said Grok, but I'll taste it first. Oh, my mouth's burning! How everyone laughed as Grok ran off. Serves him right, said Jack. Now we can all enjoy our plum pie. <laughs> <laughs>